be so bad today. The wind's not blowing like it was yesterday. It might be a really nice day out here. But we don't have much time because we got to go do stuff this evening. Y'all see this telephone pole right here? Well, they come in the other day and put a brand new telephone pole in. After uh, it broke off and fell down. So we got a new telephone pole. So we got a whole big massive pile of dirt around this telephone pole. We're going to have to scrape down a little bit maybe to smooth it out later. But uh, yeah, I try to clean the window here for you. You know, because always y'all don't like looking through my dirty window so we're gonna go over here and grab a couple four wheelers a chainsaw and some snippers and go cut some electric fence i mean uh cut some cedar trees out of the electric fence out of the fences around certain places that don't need to be there they've been growing up just give us something a little bit of something something to do that's productive until Till we got to go this evening but uh that's our plan um the cows are still in to my understanding dad said the cows are all still in where they belong um the other day he had them all rounded up in the barn anyways you see that hole in the back wall the barn there well, there was a board missing. Now there's multiple boards missing. So we're going to have to fix that hole in the back wall now. But he had them all captured until they went out through the wall. Had neighbor neighbors over here trying to help get them back in, and they all got back out in the field. So... Dad, he's still sitting in the house. Hopefully he's doing something productive. But me and Emily and Harvester, we're gonna go over here and do something. A little something, something. We'll grab that little white trailer right there. Snippers, a chainsaw, and a couple four-wheelers. Go cut some trees. He take loader back out in the field where we were yesterday and pull the rest of them posts up that they were, you know, messed up. But maybe we'll get to that. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see. Working on the rake right there. I didn't show y'all any of that, but that's because we um, ran into a problem and ran into a problem. And uh, got dark on us, so we gave up. But we'll we'll get back to that. All right, y'all. No, catch you a little while. Well, yeah, we did this fence here all the way out to the woods. Put it back in after all these years. Still got, still got. Three of them in, in that field that we need to get out. But they weren't the ones really causing the trouble. It's all these red ones. These red ones and white face ones. Constantly, constantly getting out. Finding holes, making holes, making more holes. Right there, there's two metal fence posts that we didn't pull out. Another one over there. We got at least three metal fence posts that we still need to pull out. Um, of this fence. Then they didn't come up here with a lawnmower and cut these briars down on each side of it. So they got these briars out here, out here in the back, all over the place. So we need to cut them down. This one here just needs to be trimmed so you can walk under it um, without uh, so it don't get in conflict with the wire so you don't you can ride by it without getting tangled up in that tree so because you can't really ride under this tree cows cleared it good cows cleared it down good but you can't really ride under it well we got 
got the first tree trimmed up. Loaded, mostly. I just gotta find somewhere to get rid of it. Take it out in the woods or something. And then there's at least two or three more trees. I'm not trying to do a whole lot, but trimming up enough you can ride a four wheeler underneath of it without getting hit by a tree. And I can run the zero turn along the fence. Cut all these briars down like this. They're everywhere. That old tree right there. Dad took a loader and shoved it over. It's been dead for a long time. This whole lower area down here by the woods, we need to do a lot of cleanup. Because there's just sticks and logs and tree branches and everything else laying out here down here at the bottom. Just got to clean it all up. Get it out of the field so we can actually not have to wait till the grass gets 10 feet tall. And then when we're right here trying to cut hay or bush hogging, we run it over. You know, that ain't no good. You get rid of all that. Get dad on his grabber one day or just light the pile right there where it's at and get to it. Working on tree number three. Well, we left the wire unhooked up there so there was no electricity in it. Well, when dad put the hay in, he went and hooked it back up. And we just grabbed a hold of it and got shocked. I got lit up yesterday. And I mean lit up hard. I was standing here with a steel post in one hand and trying to push the wire with my glove to get it to hook over the insulator without touching it. And uh, it lit me up hard. All right here's where they were getting out at. The posts aren't great. We need new posts. And the bulb wire here is all old and rotted. So we need to run new bulb wire from the bottom all the way to the top up through here on this side. And uh, cause you can see right here where the mud was on the fence where they were jumping over cause they ripped out the top wires here. Um, there was wires there. I don't know where they are, but they were there. Um, they ripped them out up there farther up the way we put a couple gates up just to block them because they were jumping over up there and uh well clearly they were coming through here the last time so I mean, you can see the mud trail where they went down through there but anyways we gotta come out here run i don't know a bunch of barbed wires or something guess a panel Guess a panel run a whole panel up through here or something. I don't know. I used to have another fence right up through here that went all the way up there to the barn. No, that was going to. And then up here in the middle, you see the fence post. I'll show you. This fence post here used to go straight across that way. And then there's another fence post in the middle. four-wheeler is a 2005 Honda Rancher 350 um, somebody changed the wheels on it added that light bar on the front and added a fan onto the radiator onto the oil cooler radiator underneath 
to blow the so when you get out riding around that old motor gets hot well you flip the switch on that fan blows all the heat off the motor so your legs ain't burning you get to riding around in the heat now these four wheel drives already have all that it's an automatic switch it automatically cuts on when it gets too hot but the two wheel drives don't have that well the fella looked into the kit because they were optional on these he looked into the kit to put the uh put that on there but it was so daggone expensive he just went on amazon or whatever and found a fan that fit in there that worked and put a switch um this one here does not have a fan because it's two-wheel drive just like that one this is an 06 model this one here is a 2002 model and i remember the first time that fan kicked on and cooled that hot motor off boy that was a nice thing this one here has been rode hard we rebuilt the motor one time in it dad ripped the front end off of it when he hit a tree um multiple trees anyways chasing cows you know how that works out the other the other four-wheeler over there that one over there he hit a stump ripped the whole fender off of it you know the whole back fender he knew he hit the stump but instead of backing up he just kept juicing through and well now it doesn't have any fender on this side and the uh the red four-wheeler right here somewhere on the other side that one one night um back in the day we over here on this long field we had corn we went and cut the corn well we'd open up the field and uh well my cousin and my sister was out r racing through the corn rows well one of them was coming down through the corn row and the other one didn't know where the other one was and well they collided at the end of the corn row and uh you know bent some stuff up and then another time uh we were riding along where do you put that thing oh it's on the other side over here anyways we was riding along and I was on a motorcycle and a friend of mine was on the four-wheeler. Well, he plowed into the back of me. I bent the ramp racks all up. And uh Well me and Dad straightened them out the first time. I took them off to straighten them out the second time, never did put them back on. Got parts to do it. But there it is never did put them back on tore it all up so i never did put it back together this one's a 1990 this is the first four wheeler we ever owned um and about a year later we went and bought a used 89 model um which my other sister has now bought a used 89 model um that one's in great shape because uh, back then we'd only use the four wheelers to go chasing cows. Um, when Dad bought that O2 model, he used it like a truck, drove it everywhere, all day, every day, feeding cows and whatnot. Um, so that one had a lot of use on it, real hard over the years. But that's our four wheelers. Okay, so. I bought a tricycle front end to go on this rake. I told you I'd get back to you. I bought a tricycle front end to go on this rake. And I got to put it on there. This is a used rake. And I could get four bolts in, but I can't get five, six. I got four out of the six bolts in there. And I just can't get that piece of metal to line up. Well, it got dark on us. So we gave up. And it got cold. And it snowed and it rained so 
we haven't got back to it yet but uh we'll get it finished up here somehow or another even we've got to take a torch to it but uh i got all the parts for it i bought that from uh fries in pennsylvania i think i'm saying that right fries fries in pennsylvania uh wasn't it it wasn't it, I don't think it came from the Fry's scrapyard, but they might be the same entity. I don't know, but I ordered it from Fry's. They sent me the wheels and the, the entire tricycle, everything, for not even a quarter of the price of what New Holland wanted. But you know they discontinued those rakes, so. But somebody still makes them, I'm sure. But anyways. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it all figured out. Well, God, I'm here. I guess it's Monday afternoon. Monday? Let's see. I had not seen this old bag here for, I think, three days. And uh, I come up here yesterday and went all through here, and I didn't see her. But anyway, she's here laying in the leaves. What did you see over there, Mama? Holding that old foot up now. You know what? I guess one of the days we would come out here and a whole bunch of people wanted to get you out of here. But anyway, I don't know why you want to stay in here so bad. Eat up. Howdy, y'all. Just got back here to Dad's. And Mom's cat thinks he's funny. I felt something on the back of the truck. I said, there ain't nobody back here. Old cat done jumped up on the back of the truck. Well, clean over the top of the truck. Checking me out over here. I ain't never seen that cat get within, you know, 200 feet of anything around this shed before. He, he's not He's not unfriendly, but he don't come over here. I want somebody around. Well, it's five o'clock, and Emily just showed up. Harvester, he getting out. Well, I went to start this four wheeler, and the battery was dead. I think some little boy came over here yesterday or day before, climbed on here and turned the key on with the headlights on and didn't turn the key off and run the battery dead. That's my thought, but I got it running here. I'm going to let it sit here and run a little bit, and I guess I'll put the battery charger on it. And, uh, charge the battery back up but I got a feeling my little boy has been getting into stuff because he come over here the other day to show my uncle mommy's new four wheeler and I think he climbed on this one and turned the key on so yep he thinks he knows how to start stuff up around here well, he's not smart enough to realize he left the key on. Because there was nothing wrong with this four-wheeler the other day. And it starts every time. But it's completely dead today. Harvester and Mommy went for a ride on the new one. And I had to move this one out of the way so they could get that one out. So... That's how it goes. Well, I hope y'all are liking and subscribing and enjoying.
enjoying what you're watching and we'll keep on doing it catch you later hey uh make sure y'all come out to the toy show at Berryville on the 29th and 30th Berryville Virginia come out and get some toys from us I'll leave the link in the description below. Catch y'all later.